gosh, can you believe this? I'm doing all this because I want fame. I want to be a stand-up comic. I want to be like Phyllis Diller. I wanted to show my son how a nobody could come to Hollywood and become a professional paid comedian. I think that the comedy in my life comes from the tragedies that I've always had from the time I was born. And I think I've just learned to cope with it by making people laugh. I was 28 when I had shock treatment. My neurologist said it was like an atom bomb going off in my head. Brian's had a lot of problems growing up, you know. Things have, his life hasn't been real fun. And of course, that points out the thing about comedy. There's always some sadness in it, isn't there? Oh, it's nothing but a goddamn shame is what it is. Oh, it's I, I've noticed one thing about comics. They're all pretty fucking sad people. I think that there are going to be people that don't think about what's really happening they will think it's very mean. These people don't know what joy it brings every ding dong cast member. These people don't know that for years they have come to this show because they want to be part of it. I think that this ding dong movie is going to show a side of show business that most people never have seen and didn't even know about. And he may go cuckoo and crazy sometimes, but he means no harm. He means all help to help people. Don's just always been there for me. I've never had a friend like Don. Besides the fact that my first impression of Don Barris was that he was a big obnoxious buffoon, he actually has turned out to be a pretty good guy. He's the only person in Hollywood that's really put up with my shit. The whole show is about how Don takes common, ordinary people and changes them into comedians.